okay? And those physical laws, they, they, they were in place since the Big Bang, which was a singularity. You can't look past the Big Bang, maybe we'll get into that later, but you, you take it as a given, there it is, mm -hmm. and, you, and, and you go, that order is there, let's discover it. There's gotta be, you know, there, there's, there's a law, there's another law, there's another law, let's peel the onion. I'm arguing that the origin of life is a second singularity with a whole additional, much more sophisticated set of rules. They can't be der derived from the laws of physics. They actually have to be um, taken as axiomatic. By the way, this book, Hubert Yockey's book, Information Theory and the Origin of Life, um, it's, it's an extremely thorough explanation of, of communication theory. Now, Yaki is not a religious guy. He is not an advocate of intelligent design. And he emphatically says, you can't derive the genetic code from the laws of physics. You can't derive the information in any cell from the laws of physics. It has to be taken as axiomatic. And its origin is not investigatable by scientific methods. Basically, he says, stop arguing about it and take it as a given. So in the Big Bang, and for the physical universe, there is a place beyond which scientists cannot detect uh, right. and measure, right? right? The, the measure way and, and whatnot doesn't go beyond that point, right. Right? right? Because of the singularity. You're saying there's a second singularity right. for the information that can be discovered in the biological world. Right, right. And it cannot be connected back to the physical world. Not that we know of. Not that we know of. And so, and so we, we take the biological world is, is operating, operating from a code that was set in place and set in motion. And, 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 and the, best, the best way to study that code is to ask why and not put any limitations on the sophistication that we expect to discover.